People are beginning to list their wishes, line up their requests for the looming year ahead. As they write their resolutions down, they carry in their minds the evening they did the washing up when everyone else was yelling. Amongst all the new promises of gym memberships and mortgage applications, they are not listing wishes, they are asking for freedoms. Everybody wants rest from their reality. Everybody needs peace. But peace doesn't come from treadmills or stitches or railway tracks. Peace arrives in the very person of the word. Instead of a bolt of lightning or clap of thunder, he sent himself in the shape of the smallest, a baby, to be held and loved and imperfectly parented by people he created before the beginning of time. He carved the thin shell of your ear. He counts every hair on the back of your neck. He can hear you and he knows when you're scared. He came to earth to make a way for us, to live freely and love properly. That's why we proclaim him each year as the wind blows and the nights draw in. That's why we join together to sing. No longer captive, no longer exiled. We pick out ribbons for the gifts we've bought and say, everything has changed. We remember the precious night he set his plan in motion. He's come so close to us. He's here, we say, as we string up sharp lights in the dark.